Yeah, that's in our language in Malaysia, Bahasa Malaysia. Uh, first of all, I'd like to welcome His Excellency uh, Cheikh Razami Muhammad, the High Commissioner of Malaysia in Kenya, uh, Mrs. June Chekame, CEO of Kenyan Tourism Board. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, Mr. Caleb Kositani, uh, Chairman of the Kenyan Airports Authority, uh, Kenya Tourism Board Team, Magical Aviation Services Team, Kenya Associations of Travel Agents, uh, the Kenyan, uh, Kenya Airport Authority, Kenya Civil Aviation Authority, uh, all my staff, A the Asia All Stars, distinguished guests, partners, and uh, media and friends. First of all, I'm excited to be here. Uh, this is my second time in uh, Nairobi. I think I brought in the good weather, uh, very nice and cooling. I was expecting very hot and humid, but it was it's beautiful actually. Um, first of all, it's an honor to be here uh, for the Route Marketing collaboration between AirAsia X and Kenya Tourism Board. This marks a significant milestone, not just for AirAsia X, but for the entire aviation and tourism industries in both Asia and Africa. Uh, for those unfamiliar with us, AirAsia X is the leading low-cost carrier in Asia. Uh, we probably are one of the biggest uh, in terms of fleet. Uh, we have close to about 300 aircrafts. Uh, we've been in, in, in existence since 2007 and our goal in life is to make travel accessible uh, for all the affordable people, uh, for, affordable for millions for passengers around the world. From our hubs in Kuala Lumpur and Bangkok, we operate over 150 destinations across Asia Pacific regions, Middle East and now Africa. Today's event underscores our vision to connect more people and more places that we are thrilled to add Nairobi into our first foray as an African continent. Uh, the launch of this direct flight between Kuala Lumpur and Nairobi, just to confirm, commences on the 15th of November 2024, represents a new era of connectivity between the two countries and the two continents. This is more not just a new route, but a bridge of economic growth cultural exchange and the flourishing of tourism for both sides uh, of the Indian Ocean. Obviously, through the strategic collaboration with Kenya Tourism Board, uh, we're not only promoting travel to and from Kenya, but also offering new opportunities of adventures, trade and cultural appreciation. Kenya is known for its breathtaking landscapes, unique wildlife, rich culture, and we are confident that these direct flights will attract travelers from across Asia eager to explore all these magnificent countries has to offer. At the same time, the route creates a new possibility for Kenyan travelers. Uh, Kuala Lumpur serves as a gateway to Asia. Uh, as the end, as I repeated, 150 routes from Kuala Lumpur, seamless connections to destinations like Japan, South Korea, India, China, and Australia. Whether it's for business, leisure, cultural exploration, we aim to make Asia's vibrant cities diverse, experiences more accessible to our guests. In line with our commitment of working with local partners, we are proud to have the uh, Magical Aviations working as our GSA in Kenya. Their local expertise has been instrumental in tailoring our offerings to the Kenyan market, ensuring that we meet specific needs of our travelers here. Um, their, their main office has opened their first sales office in Nairobi at the Riverside Square. Went there yesterday, very nice. This office serves as a crucial touch point for our customers providing on-ground support and access to our services uh, and reinforcing long-term commitment to Kenya and its vibrant sector. It's a lot to say, but I think in a summary, I think what we're trying to do here in, for AirAsia is uh, our tagline is everybody can fly. The goal in life for us is to make sure that we stimulate market, uh, stimulate travel. Uh, we have carried close to a billion passengers over the 10 years, oh well, over the 25 years we've been operating. And I would say out of the billion passengers, 40% of those people that travel have never flown before in their lives. And our, our, read, our, our goal is to ensure that we want to make sure that Kenyans uh, or people that live here who have not able to fly will fly for the first time with us to Kuala Lumpur and the whole network that we operate. And for those who probably save up all their savings to travel once in four years or one in five years, AirAsia gives you the opportunity to travel at least two to three times a year. And that's what we want. Uh, and we hope that you will support us. Uh, and that's, our, and that's what we want to do. And we will make sure that everybody in Asia Pacific, 
where we fly to open their eyes and see what they're missing out on, which is Africa. And Nairobi being one of the biggest hubs and a gateway to Africa, we're so glad to be here uh, to support uh, and be the favorite airline for everybody in, in Kenya. On that note, in closing, I'd like to extend a special thank you uh, for the Kenya Tourism Board and Magical Aviation Services for their support, dedication in promoting AirAsia X presence in Nairobi. And really, I think for all the uh, guests, the VIPs, thank you for coming for this event. It means a great deal to me and the team. And I hope that we're here for the long run. And hopefully from our first four flights that we start on November 15, if it's a, it's a success, I want to fly here every day. And that's hopefully that we'll do that with the support of tourism with the support of the airports, civil aviation, and obviously uh, my greatest supporter, the, uh, the Malaysian High Commission, to make sure that Kenya is the place to go. Uh, but other than that, it's getting hot. But thank you very much, uh, and thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks. Thank you very much, indeed. Chairman of KAA, uh, the CEO of uh, Air Asia X, and the leadership management, all the directors, uh, former colleagues in the fourth estate, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, uh, a very good morning and welcome to Nairobi, welcome to Magical Kenya 2024, and welcome to this auspicious occasion where we meet our great partners, partners that are going to work with us to open Destination Kenya to the world. The partnership with Air Asia is not just about them landing in Nairobi, but it's about providing affordability to this amazing destination from Asia, from Middle East, and the rest of the globe, where they fly 150 routes. That for us as a marketing agency looking to get visitors come to Kenya is an addition uh, to the value that we are providing to the tourist. We are committed to partnering uh, to market this destination to ensure that those flights that come uh, from their routes are all full and they are not only landing in destination Kenya to explore what it is that we have to offer but also as a transit uh, hub for the rest of the continent. As we all know uh, JKIA is the second largest uh, transit corridor in the continent and this is making it even more valuable, more affordable, more accessible and we are making it even easier and pleasurable through the introduction of Transit ETA. We shall work together to market this amazing destination and we want to confirm to you that we will make your investment worthwhile as you fly to this amazing destination. So we are happy to partner, happy to work together and we look forward to greater times together. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, Mrs. Uh, June, and uh, that is... Hi, uh, good question. I think one of the main reasons is I think, you know, we... Okay. Okay. We, in terms of area Rex and area Group, uh, our goal in life is to make sure that we fly to every destination that we can. Uh, as it is, as we recover from COVID, uh, we're probably about 80% of uh, COVID capacity, and to look for new markets is something that we want to do. And we just recently in, in March uh, for, for, had our first foray to Central Asia. Uh, we started Almaty, Kuala Lumpur, Kazakhstan. And we needed to find another continent, and Africa being one. And I think with uh, Paul and his team, uh, we identified Nairobi as probably the gateway to this continent. Uh, a lot of exciting. Uh, as we come here as well for our second trip here, to a vibrant city. We love it, the weather's great, and I think there's a lot to push, a lot to tell the story about this country. And I think uh, we, as AirAsia, we want to work together with uh, Kenya Tourism to make sure that everybody knows uh, this country and what it has to offer. So, yeah, that's pretty much the goal. And apart from uh, Nairobi, Kenya, which other destinations are you looking at within the continent in the near future? Oh, that's a big question. So I think the goal, the, the goal first is to make sure that uh, together with Magical Aviation to make this route a success. Uh, once this route is very successful, they committed to me to fly daily uh, in the next uh, few months. And after that, we will make sure that there's a few other destinations that we explore. 
Uh, there's a lot of routes where we just got back from Tanzania yesterday. We're going to look into South Africa, a lot of good destinations, but uh, we're quite excited. So hopefully the first goal for us is to make sure that Kenya is a success. Amazing. Members of the press, the town is yours. Just indicate your name and the media house you're working for, if nationality applies also. Uh, just for information, our first flight is on, uh, on the 15th of November. Uh, that's the first uh, A330 uh, Airbus. Uh, we'll be landing here in uh, Nairobi uh, at the airport. Um, we'll be operating four times a week. So our forecast for uh, the first few months uh, of operation of 2024, we're looking at about 16,000 passengers. And hopefully in 2025, we're forecasting about 140,000 passengers for about four times a week operations. But obviously, as I said earlier, if uh, the demand is exceeded expectations, uh, where we are full at four times, uh, we are more than happy to increase that flights to day, daily operations. So that's our goal, to ensure that we fly here every day and give the, the access to uh, the world to come here to Kenya. for us is really marketing and positioning the destination out there in a more targeted manner. We'll be speaking to an active audience that already Air Asia has uh, engaged. So that makes our marketing extremely targeted and it's easier to measure conversion. In terms of the duration, we are here for the long. Then as for you, but for June, you are not. It didn't sound convincing for me <laughs> because it, it is what I'm seeing is an outbound taking people here to there. But what about the Asians coming in to spend their money here? Because it's more or less like you get us to go there, or you get us to transit from Malaysia to some other Asian countries. So what about those people there coming to do tourism here? I am thinking that probably. The tourism in Malaysia should have been here to also have more with you on how you both are going to do it. So I, I, I didn't really see that, that part. Yeah. Okay. I mean, for us, I think I, mean, I can write a story about this, but I think in terms of uh, Air Asia, uh, in terms of low cost travel, uh, the way we operate is we, we operate with a lot of efficiency. Uh, if you buy a ticket on airasia.com, uh, you're just buying a ticket. Uh, we're letting passengers choose what they want in life. But you basically buy a ticket. If you want to eat, you buy food. If you want baggage, 20 kilos, you buy baggage, 20 kilos. If you want insurance, you buy. So that's the value that you get in terms of low cost efficiency. Uh, while if you travel the full service carriers, the Emirates or the Qatars of the world, uh, they actually priced in everything into your ticket. You have chicken, beef, vegetarian. You have unlimited drinks. You have Coke, Diet Coke, water and everything else, and all the things that you have, you don't even use 60% of those items. So in terms of value, we give the passengers a choice. That's one, that's how we bring in the low price. Secondly as well, I think in, in the rule of thumb for low cost carriers is we're generally about 40 to 50% cheaper than a full service carrier. If you see now on our fares uh, versus a connecting flight from Doha or, or, or Dubai, we're 60% cheaper. And that's real. Uh, and you'll see that on the 15th of November uh, when we launch those flights. So yes, uh, the question is, we want to stimulate the market. Uh, people are now stimulated by their very price sensitive. The economy is not great. So we want people to travel to make sure that they get value for the tickets. Uh, we want people to just fly us uh, to get from point A to point B. And that savings of that 50 to 60% I want them to spend in Kenya on food, on hotels, on safari, on everything else. So that's the goal that we're working with them. Uh, and she'll explain a bit more. And Kenya tourism's role is very important because we are not great at telling people what Kenya is all about. But uh, they are, Kenya tourism is going to come and tell the world what it has to offer in Kenya. And they're going to work with us. And we just make sure that when we fly and we promote, we work together to promote that destination with Kenya tourism. So that's our goal. So that's, they play a big role for us because we only bring people from A to B. They tell the story about Kenya. So that's very important.
Thank you for your question. Um, it's happening in Nairobi. Mm. Nairobi is the second largest transit hub in the African continent, a continent of 63 countries, just to set the context. And therefore, if you're flying to, if you're looking to fly to anywhere in Africa, you come through Nairobi, and Air Asia is providing that solution. And the reason we're having this conversation in Nairobi and with Kenya Tourism Board is for us, we are working with them to promote the destination. And we are saying, fly to Nairobi, fly to Kenya, fly through Nairobi. Thank you. All right, how friendly. Can I speak to the friendly that is within Mandate? We are an extremely friendly people. As mentioned, over 50 million smiles. And um, uh, colleagues from Air Asia did mention that one of the considerations for them to choose this destination was the friendly people. As Kenya Tourism Board, we promote the destination, we promote the culture, we promote the product, and we promote the people. Now, with regards to the licensing of airlines and also uh, that, that is called, it's done by a separate agency, but I can say, uh, really, on behalf of the government of Kenya, we are super friendly, hence the reason why Air Asia is announcing that they are coming. <laughs> I think one of the key first thing you're gonna realize that now it's gonna take you only eight hours, eight and a half hours to fly to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, if you were to fly Emirates or Qatar, for those who know it, it will take you 20 hours to go to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, that's number one. Number two is Malaysia. We welcome everybody. Uh, currently, you, you will, it's visa free. Uh, the Malaysian ambassador is here to confirm it. So yeah, so it's visa free for everybody that come here. So that's very, uh, uh, very, very open. So for us as well, for Malaysians, uh, we are also visa free to come here. Uh, so when, when I arrived, it was seamless. And I think the key thing as well is the fact that we operate 250 destinations in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, the connection is seamless. Uh, you arrive in Kuala Lumpur, you can connect to anywhere you want uh, on an AirAsia network. So yeah, to answer your question, very easy. Any more questions?